All right, so about two weeks ago, I posted a video on how to jailbreak iOS 10.2.1 using the Sagon app. And apparently there's way more issues than I thought there would be. And in this video, I just wanna address every single problem that you guys might be facing and hopefully offer a solution to everything that I can. All right, so Sagon recently released an update to its jailbreak. It's fixed many of the issues that people have been having, made it much less buggy, and I strongly encourage you to go ahead and install the version. So as you can see, my phone is currently jailbroken, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna uh, kill my jailbreak and show how to do it step by step. So the most common issue is the, when you finally install your Sagon jailbreak, uh, once you attempt to get in it, it just crashes. And if you double press your home button, it claims that you are already jailbroken. But if I try clicking on this window, it once again crashes. This is a simple problem. To fix this issue, all you gotta do is renew your license with the app. Uh, whether by going to your settings and go to uh, general, profiles, and you should see a little agreement down below, which I do not have because it, it already expired. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reinstall the whole thing from the computer once again, and that is gonna fix the issue. All right, so since last time I've uploaded this video, the rules have changed a bit on installing this jailbreak. Apparently there's more supported devices now, and there are some bug fixes. So if you've installed this jailbreak maybe like a week or two ago, make sure you definitely go right now and install this beta 2R1, because they fixed a lot of issues that you guys might have been facing. So once again, the process is simple. You're gonna start off by installing the City Impactor. They provide their links right within their website. This is how it looks like. And once you get the City Impactor, you go to install the beta. And once it installs, you're just gonna right click it and show in folder. So it's gonna bring up this file within your folder. I got like 10 of them. All right, so before we drag this file into the impactor, if you have a jailbreak already installed on your phone, which is not working, make sure you go to Xcode and revoke certificates. This will delete any sort of glitched jailbreak that you have currently, so your phone is uh, ready to install this new version. Okay, as you can see, we have revoked two certificates. All it takes is uh, you entering all your iTunes information. Okay, now once we've done so, again, this is only for those who have already a jailbreak installed, which is not working. Okay, now this comes the part where we install the new one. We drag this file, Sagon, into here, and we again enter all our personal information. Okay, so we click done and this process takes around a minute all right so once it's complete you're just gonna click x on here and you're gonna you might as well just close up all the windows at this point they are relevant and we go back to the phone all right so the frustrating computer part is out of the way and now we can move on to the iphone itself so you guys will only have the sagon app and the city app all these, I've installed the rest uh, via the jailbreak, but you will only start off with these two apps. So the first part, you'll just go on to Sagon, and this time it should launch it without any problem. The jailbreak should be right in the middle of the screen, and the app should not crash. The second most common problem, it happens after you click the jailbreak button, and basically it cannot escape the sandbox. And many things can go wrong during this part, whether it will fail to escape the sandbox or your iPhone will reboot itself. However, in, this two, in the second beta, they definitely uh, improved the consistency of the jailbreak. So as you can see, this time around, it failed to escape the sandbox. And it tells me, hold the power and hold button for six seconds, but you do not want to do that. Why? Because simply resetting the app, just like so, 
going back to it helps 90% of the time. Now, if this does not work, maybe ten to, uh, three times in a row, you're gonna wanna reboot it. But 90% of the time, simply resetting the app and making it go again works. So as we can see, it failed to escape Sandbox again. All we wanna do, is set the app, go back to Sagon, jailbreak. Simple process. All right, so this is its fifth time failing on me, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to restart the iPhone. Uh, when it comes to this, I suggest just leaving it be for maybe an hour or two, simply not even touching the jailbreak. That worked for me in the past, but if you wanna give it a try, just go ahead and simply reboot your phone. You don't have to do the complete respring with a home button and the power at the same time. Just turn the power off and turn it back on. It should work. So I went ahead and rebooted the phone. Let's see if it works this time around. All right, so we got some action here. Finally, uh, I bypassed the, the sandbox and here it is, respringing the phone. Thank God. Um, so it takes a lot of trial and error. I've set my phone aside for maybe 10 minutes, restarted it, it worked for me. I'm pretty sure if it worked for me, it's gonna work for 90 for 90 percent of people out there. So you just gotta be patient with it. Do not give up. Uh, just reboot your phone, reset the app a couple of times, and it will eventually respring itself. So we're back in the phone, and as you can see, it's finally jailbroken. The apps have the animation, and we if we go check on the Sagon, it says that we indeed are jailbroken. And we can even test if Cydia works and it's loading so it works no problem. Now, one more important thing, I've put it in my last video, make sure you verify the license of the jailbreak. So you go to your, your settings, general, and then you go to device management, click on your email, and you're going to verify right here. You're just going to click on it. Simple as that, you finally got yourself a jailbreak. I hope this video was helpful for you guys to solve any problems that you're having with this thing. But once again, please leave feedback down in the comments. That will be greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.